welcome to another video let's solve for f of x in this functional equation but in inverse form what is plugging in this inverse function is different from what we have at the right hand side and the question says find f of x to do this let's see the solution if you have a solution like this and uh, I'm going to rewrite the question as f in front of x minus 1 equals to 4x plus 3. There are two ways of solving this, but I'm going to use the first one and we call it form manipulation because I want to make this 4x minus 1 to look. Uh, exactly as what is there and we are going to have this as instead of x i change it to x minus one all right so if i change this one to x minus one and you expand the bracket then what you have to add with this is just seven just to look like above and to verify that let's see this if they are equal or not if you have four bracket x minus one plus seven by open the bracket we have four x minus four plus seven and this equals to four x plus three which this this manipulation is absolutely correct and uh, we are ready to compare these two to be the same because anything we have in this bracket, it has assembled the output here. Then, since we are asked to calculate f of x, and I can confidently change this x minus 1 to x, then we now have f inverse of x equals to, instead of x minus 1, I change it to 4x because it must resemble what is plugged in the function okay the first problem has been solved but this is inverse not ordinary f of x to do this let's get started we are going to let f inverse of x to be another variable suppose i choose variable y and uh, this f inverse, I will apply the law of indices here and change this to x divided by ordinary f. Everything equals to y. So by multiplying f with y here, so it's going to be f of y equals to x. Then from the what I start above, f inverse of x equals to y i'm going to replace it instead of f inverse of x i'm replacing it with y there we have y equals to 4x and plus 7. i'll make sure i let x the subject of the formula here to do that we subtract 7 from both sides and after doing that, these two cancelled, and here we have y minus 7 equals to 4x. We divide by 4 to make x the subject in real. Then we have x equals to y minus 7, everything divided by 4. And what we let above as well f of x f of y equals to x and we have x here so which means we replace it with f of y and here we have f of y equals to y minus 7 divided by 4 that is what we plug in in the function it has something related to it at the right hand side then we're asked to calculate f of x not f of y but what we got from 
this it assumes that i can replace this with x then anywhere we see x in this anywhere we see y we replace it with x all right and then we have f of x equals to x divided by uh, x minus 7 divided by 4 and here is the solution to that problem given to us i hope you like this video and you follow the steps don't forget the step i used and you like this video and uh, share it and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel never stop learning